Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Pharmacy Tech Study Guide. I'm Sidra, pharmacist by profession and passionate about helping you become an excellent pharmacy technician. So as a pharmacy technician, you do a lot more than counting pills and slap the label on the prescription bottle. At least that's what common perception is. In this video, I'll be talking about the job duties of the pharmacy technician, so stay tuned. Primarily, as a pharmacy technician, you will be working in hospital or retail setting. In both the settings, you will be working under the supervision of a pharmacist. Being a pharmacist and a pharmacy manager myself, I can tell you this, that you are a backbone of the pharmacy, working on the front line and helping the day go by smooth. And depending on the work setting, your job duties may vary, but it's very important that you understand the key job duties of the pharmacy technicians so you can be a blessing for the pharmacy rather than being a pain. So whether you work in a hospital or retail, here are your five key responsibilities as a pharmacy technician. As a pharmacy technician, you're the first line of contact in the pharmacy. If you're working within a retail pharmacy of any kind, you can expect to interact regularly with the patients or customers. You are the first line of contact when patients approach this pharmacy counter. This means that you help your customers purchase their over-the-counter medications, help them with billing. Now, as a pharmacy technician, you don't advise patients about medications. So it's important that you carefully listen to their needs and questions, try to understand what they are asking for so you can refer them to the pharmacist as needed. So obviously, customer service skills are a must for you. You must be able to provide simple answers to the questions about insurance coverage and their copays. Also, it's expected of you to be kind and helpful towards your customers. So you must have strong interpersonal skills because look at it this way. Many of the patients visiting a pharmacy aren't really thrilled about to be there. It's not their like vacation spot. They're either sick themselves or probably helping a sick friend or family member. So being sick or taking care of someone sick and then dealing with the insurances at the same time isn't fun. Therefore, chances are you may come across a lot of customers who are not at the best of their attitude. So you shouldn't take it personal, right? Rather put a professional and kind face, greet them with a smile and try to make their experience as pleasant as possible. It's safe to say that customer service is one of your most important, rather challenging duty as a pharmacy tech. Primary duty of pharmacy technician is to prepare and fill prescriptions. And when it comes to filling prescriptions, it's more than just counting pills and labeling bottles. It's very detail oriented process. So you must check the prescription thoroughly and ensure that it has all the required information, like make sure it is signed and dated by the doctor, uh, medication name, quantity, uh, directions and refills are clearly marked on the prescription. Also ensure that the prescription order is legal. It is not forced. Um, you may come across some of those in pharmacies. So just be cautious about it. If you're not sure about anything, just consult your pharmacist who can further contact the provider in case of any doubts. Once you take the prescription, you should be able to interpret the prescription and type it in a way that it's clear and easy to understand for the patient. After you enter the prescription and the pharmacist reviews it, now it's time for you to fill it. And you must ensure that the prescription is filled accurately. You want to look up the medication carefully from the stocks as many medications can have similar names. Always, always double check the strength prescribed as any error here could mean a wrong dosage of the medication is dispensed to the patient, which could potentially harm the patient. Always, always double and triple check yourself before dispensing medication. Make sure you're dispensing the right medication to the right patient. ways you can help patients is by processing their prescription medications on insurance. Now before the patient leaves the pharmacy drop-off window, it's a good idea to check and confirm whether all the information on the insurance file is up to date to avoid any hassles later on. Um, next, you're required to process the claim. Well, nowadays most of the claims can be processed electronically, which makes it way faster and simpler for you. But if that's not an option, then you're required to contact the insurance company. Now, at times due to clerical mistakes, the claims get denied. In such a case, don't worry, just contact the insurance company for assistance. 
and if the insurance requires prior authorization then make sure you fax the doctor to submit the prior authorization this process at times can be time consuming and literally frustrates the patient mainly it's because a lot of patients don't really understand what prior authorization means to them it's like pharmacy reaching to the doctor to double check what the doctor has prescribed because they think that since the doctor is the one prescribing the medication why reach out the doctor to authorize it again a very common scenario in pharmacy well in this case you must explain the patient that the prescribed medication is either um, not a preferred medication on insurance's formulary or is um, high dollar amount so the insurance is requesting doctor to actually uh, provide medical justification to the insurance for prescribing this medication As a pharmacy tech, you must take physical stocks, counts, and reconcile with computer inventory records. Now, why is it important? Imagine you were diagnosed with an illness and need to pick up your antibiotic before heading home and crawling into the comfort of your bed. Now, you go to the pharmacy only to find out that they don't have enough of the antibiotic you were prescribed. At best, it's an inconvenience. At worst, you're calling for patient's frustration and it could be a serious problem. Not receiving medication in time may delay patient's treatment and may result in serious health consequences for the patient. And this is just one reason why managing inventory is such an important duty. It's also important that when you receive medication shipment, you check for accuracy and then stock medications on the shelf, keeping in mind their storage requirements. You don't want to place the refrigerated items on the shelves and the shelf items in the refrigerators. Also check shelves for expiration dates. Medications nearing expiry must be uh, shipped back to the wholesaler and this is called reverse distribution. Last but not the least, supplies such as pill containers, bag and labels need to be kept in organized manner and make sure you order them whenever required. gain experience and progress as a pharmacy technician it's not only important to continue to develop yourself but it's also very important to train new technicians to have an effective stress-free day at pharmacy you have to be a team player one pharmacist or one technician literally cannot do it all so it's important you train and retrain where needed also as you continue to work better and hard you may be promoted to a pharmacy technician supervisor you become a lead pharmacy technician which has to lead pharmacy team by guiding them and as a lead pharmacy technician you have to not only guide your pharmacy team but you also help the pharmacy manager run the pharmacy smoothly so you have to ensure that other pharmacy technicians have necessary skills and training to perform their um, daily tasks effectively and in order to do so you must have managing skills most important of all you must have to um, set your vision parallel to the vision of the pharmacy manager and help him or her disseminate information you know pharmacy is an ever-changing work environment so it's very important that you and your fellow team members um, stay up to date remember as a pharmacy technician you have to have the urge to continue to develop yourself if you do bare minimum throughout the day then you will slowly lose your value and worth in the eyes of your customers and also your manager probably and at one point someone else is ready to take your place so remember the minute you walk into the pharmacy put up that professional face who is eager to help the customers and pharmacy team all right so this is it for today's video i hope now you understand your key responsibilities as a pharmacy tech if you found value in this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your questions in the comments and i'll see you guys next time with another pharmacy tech lesson until then take care bye